Hey friends, Tux here. I'm actually at a Target store right now and doing a little kind of pre-holiday shopping, kind of seeing what's happening for fall 2018. And I can see Target actually set up like a little Pokemon section here, which is kind of surprising because usually it's way over there with the games. So maybe they're going to be expanding upon this. So some cute new stuff too. Check out this cute little uh, Togepi. Very nice, like a little purse. Got some cool like new like little battle sets here. Look at this. This is lit and it's really great. Very, very cute figure. $6.99, not bad for actually two of them. And we have a Pikachu, and lots of good stuff, Wobbuffet. Um, this kind of reminds me of an old one, actually, the way the arms are. It's interesting. Um, what else we got here? Oh, wow, look at that. I've not seen that one before. Very cool. And what do we got here? Oh, wow. That surprised me. I just got that finally in Pokemon Go, like, from evolving the other one. It took me, like, forever. I wasn't really pushing it. I wanted to try and get a good one was the thing. So, anyway, very cool. Alone, Muck. So... As far as little tin cans go, um, a lot of old sets here at Target. They're not the best about changing them. That one there looks new with the GX, which is pretty cool. Really nice little figure here. I think this has been out for a while. Um, this shiny Legends. Very cool. little translucent base to that one. I like that a lot. And get some cool cards and stuff too. Um, looking at the other stuff here in the aisle of Star Wars. Kind of falling apart. <laughs> kind of funny. You know, it's weird that the, the Han Solo movie didn't go over that well. So, I kind of expected to see more Clarence stuff. I mean, there's still like Rogue One toys down here. Which is really surprising they wouldn't have Clarence them off. But a lot of big stuff. I mean, like $100 BB-8s. Like this really cute Chewbacca. Um, $129. Bucks. Like, this stuff isn't Clarence. Which, again, kind of surprises me. Um, stuff like this was like five bucks at Walmart back about a month or two ago. So kind of surprising that they have it for $19 here. And they have a lot of the different figures. Young Han Solo, still haven't seen that movie. I guess I kind of need to. Um, Chewbacca, I guess Chewbacca was more yellow or brown when he was younger. I don't know, uh, a lot of different colors on there I'm not used to seeing. I guess I need to check out that newer Han Solo movie. You guys know I like to check out the Clarence Rocket Target. There's always some weird stuff on here. Um, lots of minions, what do we see? Anything exciting here this time? Uh, Rodney Piper figure, oh my gosh, $12.49 with skirt and all, pretty funny. Um, what else? Superhero stuff, Justice League, Minions with Bananas, uh, Slime Packs, uh, a lot of Minions I see here. Like I guess Minions are kind of on their way out or something, maybe. Um, I don't know, or maybe just overkill too much Minions. Nothing too major. Star Wars, okay, one Star Wars thing here. Some kind of battle BB-8 thing. I don't even know if this belongs here, to tell you the truth. Someone could have just stuck it on there. I don't see a Clarence tag on it. Um, what is this? Some kind of... Oh, it's a... It, it is right here. It's not actually BB-8. It's like a playset. Kind of funky. But it's still kind of expensive though. Check out. It's like 50 bucks Clarence price. And that is about it for this Clarence rack. Let's go over and check out electronics. Okay, so what's the deal with Switch? Okay, like, I guess there's going to be a Switch with Pikachu and Eevee, but I don't see advertised or sold out anywhere. So if you know where I can buy that, please let me know, because I need to grab one of those for a gift coming up. Um, cases, I like these cases. Kind of cool orange, kind of Halloween-ish. A lot of black and orange. I'm going over to the gaming section here. Um, these, they have a really good deal on these at GameStop. I've seen they have like buy two Clarence, get one free. So that's kind of like 33% off, I guess. They didn't have as much variety though. They don't really have all of them. Uh, they did have, I believe, Tracer in um, May, I believe. But pretty good selection of figures and things here. Lots of cool toys. Destiny, a lot of Destiny. Some football, which is a little bit weird. What else they got here? Um, Overwatch. What is this? Oh, little loot box. That's interesting. Kind of cool with lights. There's a cool keychain that actually I do use. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to buy this now. It's scary. Um, what else I got here? Going down, gaming stuff. Looks like the keyboard's gone. It's interesting. It's always missing keys. Razor headphones. Hopefully before Christmas we'll get more PC gaming stuff. I really like the fact that Target carries PC gaming stuff. Period. And I, I hope they're not getting rid of it. I do see some sale prices on mice up there. Razor mice, which aren't too bad. All right, so at the electronics aisle here, their Clarence, they do have some toys. Got a little Harry Potter set here. This feels heavy, man. These are like little metal Harry Potter figures. Kind of cool, big set of them. Um, don't really see a Clarence tag on here, but they are pretty cool, though, I will say. Lots of different DVDs and stuff. Half the stuff on here is not really Clarence. Uh, looks like $17.46, which isn't really a super big Clarence price, to be honest with you. I mean, who buys physical media anyway? You know what I'm saying? Water bottles, Black Panther, okay, um, yeah, like movies kind of old. What is this? Code Gamer, what is this? 
It's like make your own game or something. That's interesting. Oh, it's like electronics. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I guess they're trying to sell anything as like a, a gamer related right now, but it's more like a mini electronic set uh, build your own controller thing, which is, I guess, is kind of interesting. Wow, check it out, they actually have a second Pokemon Air Canvas R. Uh, little phone things. This is actually kind of cool. Like, this is actually a good one to have. The only problem I have with these, I did notice that on my Samsung phone, I have a hard time wirelessly charging it with this thing actually hooked to it, which is kind of an issue for me because I do like to use the wireless charging, but these are super, super duper cute though. Check it out. Lots of cool ones. Pokemon figures, Pokemon tins, more of the same stuff they have kind of like over there. Um, mugs, glasses, figures, lots of good stuff. What is this? Nintendo eggs. Interesting. I guess if it's a little controller, that's kind of cool though. I may have to start collecting these coming up. Okay, I'm calling shenanigans here. This was actually on their clearance rack last time I was in this Target, like six months ago, three months ago. It was wild, it was over 90 days, okay? And I thought, wow, this is gonna be a great deal. Um, Chronicles 2, clearance price, looks kind of beat up, but you know, um, I could deal with that. You know, it feels heavy, everything's included. The spider wrap's been like busting the box out. But no, this is actually regular price, so anyway, watch out. You might see some things that look clearance at Target that are not really clearance, unfortunately. Lots of cool Nintendo product here. We got Mario stuff. I've had these before. These have like little candy eggs, or little candies in them, uh, which are actually pretty tasty, to tell you the truth. Uh, more coin candy, cool metal box. Love the little stars. Nintendo does a great job in marketing cool little stuff, so I'm a fan. And actually the candy, is, it's not bad, actually, so I'm a fan. For retro gaming, uh, the company's supposed to send me more of the teeny arcade machines. Um, I should be getting a whole set of those coming up sometime soon. Right now, Target's doing pretty good though. I mean, I like this little Galaga machine. That's kind of sweet. And uh, Super Game Pad looks like Super Nintendo, kind of. Some kind of retro thing. It looks like Oregon Trail. Um, don't know who's going to buy that, to be honest with you. Burger Time, pretty cool. Everyone likes Burger Time. And Dig Dug. I mean, this. I love the fact that these little machines look like they're actual arcade games. Stickers and all on the side. So, pretty sweet stuff. Uh, I've been collecting these for a while now. I think on Tux Reviews, I have a few different reviews of some of these if you want to check them out. And further back on Tux Toys too. But anyway, pretty good stuff. Lots of retro players. Little portable player, Genesis. Atari Flashback. Lots of good stuff. And that is pretty much it for this Target. Just wanted to do a quick little overview of some of the cool stuff I've seen anyway going into the holiday season. Um, you know what I don't see? <laughs> I don't see Anibos. They're gone. Okay. Which is a shame because I think there's a new round of Nebos coming out, but it's kind of been taking place with this new Nintendo, like do it yourself kid stuff, which I'm sorry, like I really can't get into building a cardboard steering wheel. You know, it's just, it's just not something I want to do. And they show older people. This is like teenagers or whatever. This isn't like some little kid building something. So I'm not really sure who they're trying to market that to. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you find some cool finds at your local stores. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.